Hey everyone, this is Ben from the Gaming Master with some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Just heading outside to my house today and Isabelle says, Oh, Mayor, are you heading out now? Sorry to bother you when you're busy. It's just that, well, there's another exciting milestone to celebrate. I almost can't believe it, but it's been one year to the day since you became our mayor. I've been trying to figure out the best way to express my gratitude for all your service to Kenobi. And, well, I realized that I just couldn't do it myself, so I've called upon... Everyone, all the residents, come on everyone, this way. Okay, this is exciting. Kind of forgot there was a celebration today. Ahem, Mayor Ben, fellow so citizens, thank you all for gathering here today. Without further ado, let us begin the ceremony to honor Mayor Ben's one year of service. Alright, awesome. Since I've been Isabel, or since I've been, <laughs> I misread that. Since I've been working with him for one year, I, Isabel, will. Alright, I forgot to read the last part. So, um, exactly one year ago today, Ben arrived in Kenobi and became our mayor. I still remember it like it was yesterday, meeting at the train station, planting the seedling. I guess time flies when you're diligently navigating bureaucratic red tape, aka having fun. Now let's have a big round of applause for Mayor Ben. Put your hands together. Awesome, we got Bones, we got... Oh my gosh, why do I always forget the rap the mouse's name? And then, that's a one of the guys from the next door, that's funny. Well, how about it, Mayor? Anything to say for yourself on this special occasion? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been one year. <clears throat> no, no, we're the ones who are thanking you. But if this ceremony has made you happy well, then that makes us happy too. Now then, it's time for the presentation of the ceremonial gift. Without further ado, Mayor. Oh, we got a present. That's awesome. Please accept this small token of our appreciation. I have a good outfit on for this, but terrible hair. <laughs> My goodness. Alright, everyone, it's time to bring it out. You know what I'm talking about. So, in recognition of Ben's work for the continued development of Kenobi, I present... Hup. Bam, there we go. Celebrating one year of being mayor. I still can't believe it. One year since your inauguration. What a ride it's been. Yeah, man, there we go. Oh, let's go. So, it's been one year since we moved into Kenobi. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, welcome back, guys. It's been a little bit since I've played Animal Crossing on the channel. Uh, basically, what happened was my schedule got thrown off a little bit, but everything's good now, so we're going to get back into, uh, yeah, posting Animal Crossing videos, and vi videos in general, for that matter. Uh, but yeah, it is, what, June 9th? Yeah, it's June now. It is pretty much officially summer. I think the first day of summer is technically, what, like the 21st, 22nd of June, something like that, but we all know it's basically June now. Oh, it does look like my pockets are full. That's great. Wait, there's no mail? <laughs> what? You're telling me in all this time there's been no new mail. I don't believe that for a second. Alright, what's this present that I got, though? A sapling clock. Okay. Probably to represent the town tree, I'd assume. Yeah, let's go put some of this in storage. But yeah, it's been a little bit since I've played, so I kind of forgot what tasks I was working on. I know we were trying out the turnips, but that clearly is not good anymore. Yeah, those are super old. Uh, we do have a new mannequin that we can dress up. That's nice. We'll definitely have to fix our hair today. Talk to all the villagers again. All that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, I do plan to start getting back into uploads on the regular, so... Apologies for my leave of absence for a little bit, but I am officially back. And, uh, yeah. Here, let's see, what can we put in storage here? Let's pull up this tab here. There we go. <clears throat> let's see. We can put these items in here, like so. I'll keep that, I'll keep that, and then, what's this rug? Ceramic tile? I don't remember if I bought that or not, so I guess we'll put that in there. Spoiled turnips, yikes. Okay, we'll still have to try out the turnips again. Uh, probably next week, if I'm able to. Maybe next Sunday we could, because it is Sunday today, but it's our turnip time's already over. I think you can only buy them in the mornings, I want to say. So yeah, I believe turnip, turnip time is over, so... That sucks, but what are you going to do about it? Uh, let's go head into the town hall. We'll go check up on things. We can ask for more... Uh, what is it called? Like, the citizen satisfaction, so we know what we can do to improve the town. Okay, so let's talk about citizen satisfaction. 
You want to know how satisfied the citizens of Kenobi are? Sure thing, here's what the citizens' satisfaction community had to say. Who's a part of that committee, I wonder? It seems that Kenobi is starting to gain some attention as a popular sightseeing destination. I hope they continue to work hard to really keep revitalizing this town, Eek. The citizens also say that they feel Kenobi is underdeveloped. They want more public works projects. The fate of Kenobi lies in your hands, Mayor Ben. I just know you'll do us proud. So more public works projects. That's something we can work on for sure. <clears throat> Let's see. Are we working on a current public works project? That would be nice to know. It looks like we are. I think we're working on that bridge still, right? We got a fossil though. That's cool. I'll always take a free fossil. We can go check out, check out the campsite with Harvey. We'll see who's in town today. Maybe Harvey has some good presents. We'll see it. Oh, a baseball bat and a catcher's mitt? That is awesome. I will take that for sure if I can. Oh, five? Come on. Come on, I love baseball. It's like my favorite sport. Come on. Really? <laughs> Fine. I was watching a little bit of a baseball game earlier, actually. All I need is one more coupon. We'll see what I can do. Oh, that'd be kind of cool if we could do a beach set for summer. What about go over here? Man, I need meow coupons, apparently. My goodness. There's so much I want today. You call this cramped? This camper is a palace compared to the cabins on a boat. And even then, all I get is the one bunk. He's got like a sailor outfit. Most people have to earn their sea legs, but mine are already attached. It's land legs that elude me. I see normally wear a hat. Something about him looks just off. I don't even know how to describe it. Gulliver. Some say he's the worst swimmer ever to be called a sailor, which could be why he's trying out a new form of land-based adventure. Camping. What kind of furniture does he have? We ha he has the tropical vista. That's cool. Sandy beach floor. Ball. Beach table. Life ring. Volleyball net. Wave breaker. Okay. Man, there's so much I want today. Maybe we could do some stuff to earn some Meow coupons. Because, yeah, I want that baseball glove and the bat. I want some of the beach stuff. There's a lot I want today. Which is very rare because most of the stuff in the campsite I really don't care about. But today, I don't know. Guess next year he's probably to look for the money rock. Flower garden is coming along pretty nicely. That's pretty cool. Breaking news. In a stroke of pure luck, we have received a rather fine zero lamp. Yes, and this item... An item this good won't last. From TIY. Okay. I'm sure that'll be something to check out. Luckily, I don't think we missed any major events in the game. So yeah, I'm going to start uploading pretty regularly again, I think. That's the hope. We found the money rock already. Let's go. Didn't have to spend five years searching for this thing. Fine by me, trust me. We'll need some money, of course, to pay off the next home loan, the bridge, all that good stuff. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and put that in here. We're making some good money. Not doing terrible on money. I'll definitely take it. We'll go ahead and put this in here. Very nice. Alright, so that's taken care of. Not bad. And what shall we do next? We should probably go get another coffee. I know we're still working on trying to get the part-time job, right? We did get the takeout coffee done, I believe, right? Let's see, what do we got over here? Hello, how's it going, Brewster? How can I help you? A coffee, please. You want a takeout coffee, right? It's 200 bells a cup. Yes, please. Very well. So, I don't know if you have to just order a certain amount of cups of coffee for him to offer you the part-time job or what. If you know, let me know in the comments, because I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing to get that unlocked. Thank you very much. Cool. Because, yeah, look, it's, it looks like he's still not giving it to me. It looks like croaks in here. What's that? You'll bug other people if you carry out on a loud conversation, so make sure you keep it down. 
And do your studying at home. Ain't nobody everywhere nothing studying in a coffee shop. Real men drink Kilimanjaro. The high acidity and bitterness make for a cup with some impact. Man, croaks all with the wife there yesterday. Okay. You had a point about people always studying in caf or like coffee shops. Like I feel like every time I go to Starbucks or something, someone's always either studying or they have like their laptop open or something. Who's this, Winnie? What's that? Woohoo, it's Ben. See, I'm totally being nice to you, even though you haven't talked to me for a long time. So if you want to say stay on woohoo terms, don't be such a stranger, quackity. <laughs> okay. What do we got over here? Oh, the time capsule. Wait, okay. Why was that back? I thought that was supposed to disappear when I bury that. So, why is that back? To future me, I just put my favorite set of clothes in a time capsule. Uh, if they get moldy or look lame in the future, then just go ahead and give them to Ben from past Rizzo. Okay. Was I, not, I don't think I was supposed to pick that up. Can I bury that? Can I really not bury that? Well, why did it come back out of nowhere? What the heck? I thought once you bury that thing, it's not supposed to come back, so I'm all sorts of confused. Do I have to, like, go give this to Rizzo? Or even is Rizzo? Oh, <laughs> this is so bad, dude. I don't know what to do. I thought that was supposed to disappear forever. Okay, if you guys know how time capsules work, let me know, because I'm all sorts of confused at these things. Man, I don't even know. Rizzo, just the man I wanted to see. Hey, hey what a surprise. If it isn't my old pal Ben, it's been a long time since I last saw you. Did you go off somewhere? Maybe our schedules just haven't matched up lately. Well, it's good to see you again. Okay. Hey, hey Ben, you got something you want to say to me? Is it Squee? Capsule time. Okay, maybe I do need to give it to him. Is that really what I have to do? I have no clue. What? I didn't ask you to do that, but did you just dig it up anyway? Oh, well, I was thinking it was about time to dig it up, so I guess that's just good timing. Cool, let's open the time capsule together and huh? Hey, what's up with this? It's already open. Did you open it without asking me? But opening the capsule is the best part. It's like unwrapping a present. I didn't even take open the present. <laughs> Man, that's super disappointing. Oh god, I'm sorry. Bro. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to open it. I, I thought you just couldn't take the gift out. And to be fair, I did not take the gift out. I left that in there. So I don't know what he's whining about. There's like two fossils right here. Wait, I thought there was a fossil over here. No? Maybe it was this one that I was looking for. Oh god, I cannot get this in. There we go. Oh, my hair is so bad. <laughs> Why did they have to do that to you? It's like the game punishes you for not playing. It's kind of funny, actually. What's the extra selling item of today? Retail. Gar, okay. So if you catch a gar, we'll say, what a Mitzi, how's it going? Oh, it seems like I haven't seen you in a really long time. Okay. Let's have an actual conversation now. <laughs> Hi, Ben. What can I do for you, Mila? Can we talk? Um, ben, I want you to have my red tile wall. No, no. No reason in particular. Here you go. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Sure. If it's not your style, feel free to re-gift it. I promise I won't be offended, Mila. Yeah, I like Mitzi. She's nice. I have no problem with Mitzi. She even said no hard feelings if I have to give away the red tile, so... That's pretty cool. Is there anyone in here that would want to buy my fossils? It doesn't look like anyone's in here. Dang it. Come on now. Oh, that's my thing. I don't know if I put two prior heists on that, or... If they're fine, or I don't even know. Like, I'm trying to talk to Reese, not... I swear I wasn't trying to do that. I'm trying to talk to Reese here. Oh wait, someone's coming in the shop. Let's give them a second to just walk around, taking the view. Come on, Winnie. Let's see how good of friends we are. Will you buy something? 
Here, I'll kind of nudge you in the right direction here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the cheapest thing? Fine. Well, I see that you have a dark polka shirt for sale. Pricey, but maybe I should splurge. You sh should, trust me. Well, I'm tempted, but the price is just too pricey. It wasn't that expensive. What? It wasn't even that expensive. What are you talking about? Fine, I'll lower it. Come on, dude. Here, we'll do we'll do like three fifty. How about that? Go for the fossil. Here, I'll kind of nudge you in the right direction here. Take a look at the fossils. Go ahead. When I come here, here, I'm just gonna kind of lure you in the right direction here. Come here. You want to buy that shirt again? You want to buy some fossils? <laughs> There's a lot of things you could buy, isn't there? Nothing on the top row that isn't mine, though. Oh yeah, okay, it worked. We literally nudged her in the right direction. <laughs> You're the one who put up the Diplo hip on display, right? Oh, what to do? Buy. Really? Well, that settles it, Quackity. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this, please. Oh, and that's good money, too. Okay. Since you're right here in front of me, I can just pay you directly, right? That is correct. Thank you very much. That was such a great deal. I still have bills left to spend. Maybe I'll buy more? Oh, is that so? Although, I will be honest, in my, like, 11 years of playing Animal Crossing New Leaf, I have never seen someone buy two things from retail. I will not lie. So I'm assuming that's all she's going to buy, even though she said she might buy another thing. Man, New Leaf is 11 years. <laughs> that is crazy. This game is 11 years old today. I have no words. That is insane. Man, oh man, that is just ridiculous. I, I cannot fathom that. That is insanity. That is actual insanity. Okay, I got way less money because of the turnips, but I'll still take it. Yeah, no, out of my 11 freaking years, I've never seen a villager buy two things, so... I think we're good to go now. <laughs> 11 years! That is ridiculous, dude. That is such a crazy number. I don't even know what to say, man. That is insane! Boom. Coffee has been drank. Awesome. I do want to check out meow, meow coupons. <laughs> meow coupons. I can talk. Fish it forward. What's this? Fish it forward. Let's see. Uh, a fish thrives in its natural habitat. Luckily, it will also thrive when you donate it to the Kenobi Museum. So if we get a new fish, okay. HQ Stag Beetle. Everyday life feels stagnant. Uh, visit the islands and catch a golden stag, a rainbow stag, or a cyclomatis stag. Interior design initiative. Give your walls a fresh coat of paint or wallpaper. Better yet, ask Sahara to redecorate your place for you. Public works. Philanthropists are better than good. They're amazing. Donate 10,000 bells to the public works in Kenobi. Oh, I can do that. Easy. And that's three meow coupons? That gives us, like, three meow coupons, and that's actually one of the easier ones to do. I'll gladly take care of that. We're gonna do that really quickly, why not? Oh, a gyroid, really? <laughs> that was a fossil. No, some stupid gyroid, of course. Here, we'll catch this fish, too, in case it's new. I doubt it, though, but might as well. I hear it, like, ribbiting. This must be a frog. How much you want to bet that this is a frog? You <laughs> hear it go, like, ribbit, ribbit. Oh, there we go. Hands down a frog, 100%. Yep, called it. You could, you could like, hear a ribbit, so that's funny. But yeah, that was so obviously a frog. That's taken care of now, though. Uh, where's this public works project? It's over here, isn't it? We'll try not to run through the flowers. There we go. Alright, 10,000 bells. Oh, missed. Should I talk to Lloyd over here? Good afternoon. Hey, contribute to campaign a public... Er, contribute to a campaign to fund a cobblestone bridge. Our target fund is 128,000. We've collected 3,000 so far. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. 10,000. Exactly. On the dot. Ready? 
Bam, there we go. You think they have like a confirm donation button? In case you misclick or something unfortunate. Apparently not though. Boom, we'll take that. Heck yes, there we go. Yeah, I think that'd be cool to have like a beach room for summer. I was kind of thinking about like dedicating one of my rooms to like a seasonal theme. I thought that'd be kind of fun. So obviously for summer we could do beach, for winter we could do Christmas. We could also theme it around holidays. Just kind of a room that you can play around with like depending on what time of the year it is. That was kind of one of my ideas. So I'm not sure what room I'll do that in, but I definitely think I will do that for one room. Because I think that sounds pretty cool. Alright, I'll take this for sure. The baseball set. Yes, please. Thank you very much. What even is this thing? Just a piece of wood? Wooden deck boards? Okay. I probably don't need that. Still cool nonetheless, though. I feel like I had one of those items from Gulliver's. I could have swore I bought, like, the one with the umbrella. Did I? Here, I'm going to get the name of it, and then I'll go look it up when we go shopping. How about that? We'll see if this works. Alright, let's see here. It was the beach table. Okay, I'm going to look up beach table once we go shopping. And then we'll see if I already have that one or not. Because, I mean, I really don't need two, do I? We'll just go see if I bought it before. I think it's time to head to Main Street now. So, let's go take care of that. So, we'll go... We have some fossils on us that we can have assessed, of course. We can... What else can we do? We can go shopping. Fix this horrible, horrible hair deal. <laughs> That's definitely a must, trust me. Okay, so museum time. We got some fossils. Maybe our silver fishing rods here for the one year anniversary. That'd be awesome. My luck is terrible though, so probably not, but we'll still see. Alright, brothers, wake up, you silly owl. Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Kenobi Museum. I'll tell you how you can be of service. You can... Tell me that these are new fossils. How about that? I only had two? I feel like I had way more. Man, I don't know about that. I feel like I had way more. I guess not, though, so... <clears throat> well, well. All these are so... Come on, dude. No! What is that? That is garbage. That is garbage. Come on, dude. That is pure trash. How do I keep getting so many duplicates? Womp womp. Okay, not much we can do about that. Oh, come on, dude. I must not have 30 fish. I don't even know anymore. My brain is just rotting thinking about this. How have we still not gotten it, dude? We need to start making more progress on that. Who knows anymore? Okay, TIY. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get this show on the road here. Alright, we got fortune cookies. We'll have to check those out, of course. Pink Flamingo. What's this then? Ice cream case? I feel like I already have this, but we'll go ahead and buy it. Worst comes to worst, and we'll have two. All right, I want to check if I have the beach then. Let me check really quickly. Weird, my mouse is actually working today. <laughs> That's a first. Like, never works. I feel like I already bought the beach table. No, okay. I have not bought that. Interesting. So, I guess I do have something to save up Meow Coupons for now. We'll just have to check every day for Gulliver. KK Safari, sure. That's gotta be a good summer song.
a modest two play coins. Yeah, right. These freaking play coins? Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out, get out. I'm okay. Thanks. <laughs> thank you, thank you, but... I refuse to be ripped off by you guys, because that is a death wish. Okay. What is it? Samus shoes, link pants, link shoes, Samus pants? I don't even know. I would like those, though. And I need the 3DS so we can get some Animal Crossing puzzle we going. That'll be fun. Sometimes a flower is just a flower unless it causes fire. Hmm, what could that possibly be? Maybe a fire flower, just maybe. Totally, I have no clue on that one. It's dangerous to go and take it. Hmm, <laughs> what could this be? Maybe a Master Sword. I mean, those are cool duplicates. The Fire Flower and the Master Sword. Some of the greatest power-ups in gaming history. So, that's cool, but... Unfortunately, we already have them. It doesn't get much more iconic than the Fire Flower and the Master Sword. So I guess I'll take it. Alright, Fortune 35, give me the Master Sword, please. What's Mitzi doing back there? Is she gonna buy that? Is that a zero or is that an O? Hold up, we're gonna answer the question that everyone's thinking about. I know, you just can't get this off your mind. Is this a zero or is this an O? Alright, ready? Lock in your predictions. Three, two, one. Alright. Let's see, were you correct? The zero. Oh, that's right, it's a spotlight item. Ten! What the frick? For a number zero? What the heck? That thing cannot be that good. That must be a rare item, therefore I'm gonna buy it. It's just a zero, though. But if it's 10,000 bells and it's the spotlight item, then that's gotta count for something, right? That's gotta count for something, in theory. 10,000. Good grief. Dude, that is just absurd. 10,000 bells. Man, oh man, is that bonkers. What the heck? Good grief, dude. 10,000. For a number zero lamp. That is ridiculous. But I'm concerned it's rare, so I'm gonna buy it. Let me know in the comments if I got ripped off, if this isn't rare at all. That's pretty expensive, so... And it's a spotlight item. Take my money, I guess. I have no clue what I'm gonna do with that, but... I mean, I guess eventually it'd be nice to have, like, every item in the game, right? That'd be cool. Man, I was thinking about this the other day. You know what would be really cool? This game needs to come out for the Switch, because... Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is actually getting a remake for the Switch, and it's coming out... Later this month in June, I think it's like the 27th. I'll probably be, I'll probably play that on my channel, actually. But they should really remake New Leaf, because so many people got into the franchise with New Horizons, and that was like their first game. And that's kind of a tragedy. New Leaf is still, to this day, the better game, in my opinion. And it's not even nostalgia. Like, I've sat here and played like 100 episodes of this game, and I genuinely enjoy it more. I don't even know why. It's just, I, I just enjoy it so much more, you know? Especially since 2023, or not 2023, 2024 is like the year of remakes. Literally, all it is is remakes coming out, because Switch 2 is supposed to come out soon. I mean, I don't know. I would absolutely take a remake of New Leaf for Switch. I think that'd be awesome. I know a lot of people are wanting, like, Tomodachi Life to come out, whether it be, like, a remake or a second game. But man, New Leaf would be pretty cool too, you know? They should really remake some more 3DS games. I'm glad that they're doing Luigi's Mansion a Dark Moon. But there's so much more that they could also do too, so... Yeah, I don't know. I would definitely not be mad if New Leaf got remade though, trust me. Alright, hopefully I did my hair correctly. Damn, there we go. Looks like everything went 
pretty decent. I will take my 3,000 bells, thank you. Alright, awesome. There we go. What do we got in Naples? Something good today? We got this little chubby hamster looking dude. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think I need any of that. Maybe we got some cool headgear? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm good. Thank you, though. So I think we got all three mannequins from the Able Sisters. So now the only other one we get is from Gracie, I believe. So that's cool. Anyway, guys, we're going to end it off here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, yeah, that we've been playing this game for a year now, which is crazy. We have like over 100 episodes of this game on the channel. Thank you guys so much for supporting all of them. And yeah, yeah, it really means a lot. Here's to another year. Hopefully it's going to be even better than the year before. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, share the video with a friend, and subscribe for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good rest of your day.